Hi guys, this is Lydia. Welcome to my channel Lila Web Dev. So here in this video, we will learn how we can implement the basic React project. So without installing the npm packages and all those things, just I will try to explain you briefly. So for this one, what I will be trying to do is I have created a new folder React course and this folder I will try to commit in the GitHub. So all the projects I will create one by one here, whatever the projects I'll be creating in the React. The first one is a basic basic react one so it's a basic react without npm and all those things and this basic react i will try to open in the visual studio code so let's open this one in the visual studio code so i have opened this so this is our basic app so basic react so right now we don't have any files in this one i am creating a new file that is index.html so this is our basic index.html file so it is creating let it create yeah so after creating this uh, index.html file now i will be writing the html the basic layout so here i am writing the html so without using the npm package i will try to use the react.js how we can use it let's try to see if you go to our pro uh, the documentation of the react documentation and here in the law learn react if you go to the installation in this installation if you go down so try react locally so try react locally to try react locally on your computer download this html page so let's open this html page and here in this html page you will be able to see these two things so let's copy these two things so now let's open here in our body and here I am pasting oh sorry let's copy this uh, let's copy these two things yeah so I am copying this one and here I will paste it here yeah these are the two things which we need to buy for the development so after doing this one so what we need to do is we need to add a div element so this is the root element so here we are trying to add the react code and here i have closed the div element and this is the root element so after finishing this root element i will show you the output for this one so right now we will not able to see any output okay so let op let's open this one in here so we are not able to see any output but in the console if you try to see then in the console also we will be not seeing any errors fine so now we need to create a function so here after after installing after the scripts load so we will create a function app here we will be writing the code so what what is the code we need to write is so we know that uh, the react uses the JS code, JSX code right so but here we are not using the JSX code so we don't have any tools or any uh, bundles or anything that convert that uh, that can convert into the JavaScript we don't have anything so we need to write it so here uh, the I told you right so the react uses the JSX syntax so the JSX syntax internally it will be converted into a method so how it will be converted is so here this is the component I'm trying to create written react dot create element Okay, this is the method the first one is the element name we need to give it so the element name I am trying to use the header okay this should be wrapped in script so this is a script code right so we need to wrap this one all entire in a script and let's copy here and paste it at the bottom yeah so react dot create element header and here the properties if you have any props or anything you can use it and here I will be using something like hello world so that's it now if you see the output we are not able to see any output why because so we are not uh, we are not you we are not uh, uh, bind we are not binded this one to the root element so in order to bind this one to the root element so what i need to do is first i need to catch the root element so for this one what i can do is constant root so here we have a uh, thing react dom so react dom is available dot create root okay create root create root and we need to provide here document dot get element by id of root where is the root yeah that's it now we have we got the root and we need to render the 
component so that is nothing but root dot render and here i can use something like react dot create element of app that's it that's it finish so now if you try to see the output here immediately if you see the output let's see the output react dom is not uh, what it is trying to say react dom is not available oh sorry this should be something like dom okay now if you see the output for this one see we are able to see the hello world so we are able to successfully see the hello world and if we try to see the inspect element here we are able to see that header has been created and with that content of hello world so this is a child node for this one if you want to have a class for if you want to apply a class means you can have an object you can provide the props class is equal to leela so the class leela will be applied to the element for the header if you try to see here classical leela has been applied and if you want to add a span element inside this panel or if you want to add an h1 element inside this h1 element i want this hello world means so what i can do is so we need to we should not add hello world and here we need to add react dot create element and for this one so we need to tell we need to create an h1 and we don't have any properties for that one and in this one i can add hello world now if you see so this will be attached to the h1 see h1 has been added in the header you will be able to see the h1 and for this h1 you will be having a child content the content or child node hello world so this is how we will be writing now let's say that we will try to show a time for this one so in this one we can also write the javascript logic also so here i can write constant time is equal to new date dot to local a time string so i am taking this one so in order to show this time so what i can do is i will use the template literal here and i will use this time that's it now if you see we are able to see the time also but i want to update this one dynamic so how can i do this one so we know that react the ui the data drives the ui so let's try to use this one time comma set time so the state data so here I will be using react dot use state and the default value is this one so I need to call this one every one second if you see the output here so we are able to see the same output no change but we need to update it for every one second right so what I can do is I will use the use effect so react dot use effect and this is the method and this should be called only one time on the mounted so i can keep an empty bracket here and in this one if i want to do is i will call set interval set interval and return this is a function and here this should be called for every one second okay in this react in this one i will call set time of again i will use the same code new date and i will copy the same code here and where is this one yeah here i will paste it that's it so now every one second i am calling so now if you see the output so we are able to update the content so this is how we will be writing the react this is a pure react or something like that whatever the name it may be the basic react without without using the npm tools so we are making use of this react create element and there is no need of any tools and bundlers and all those things there are there is not at all used it here so just we are writing using the basic thing and now if you see the output for, uh, sorry if you see the template for this one here this guy has written the h1 the what i can say is the j6 and all those things right how this is possible is so they have imported the babel so they have imported the babel compiler and this babel compiler it slowly compiles the j6 to babel in the browser so like this it will try to do it okay so it will convert this one to a javascript so anything anything you can use it so now we, there is no need for us to use the babel thing just we are making use of the react.create element which is available in the function is available in the react itself so that's it guys so what i will try to do is i will commit this code everything in the github so if you want to refer this code means i will provide you the link in the disc description below the github link i will i need to create a repository so that is the reason i am doing doing it so i will not show it in the video so next onwards i will show it in the video where to where you can get it so here the, disc, the link is provided in the description below whenever, whenever you have a reference for this one so you can take a look at that one all the projects whatever the projects i will try to i'm um, trying to create i will uh, i will i will keep it in that repository only so that's it guys about this pure react so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video 
And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.